Hello everyone, my name is Shane Sexton. I'm a cybersecurity instructor. And in this video, we're going to take a look at remote monitoring and management solutions, which make life a lot easier for a lot of IT departments. They usually allow us to do a ton of things remotely and even automatically. And that could be routine maintenance tasks. It could be patch management, inventory control, and of course, monitoring of systems. So it makes life a lot easier. However, it's not without its risks. Because you can imagine, if you can do all that with RMM solutions, then, well, just imagine what an attacker could do. You know, we're talking about admin level or system level accounts that uh, might be in play here. So if an attacker is able to somehow successfully attack an RMM solution and get access to it, then they may have the keys to the kingdom. And not just for one company, but maybe for a number of different client companies. So we've got to make sure that these... Uh, these RMM solutions are as locked down as possible because the impact is pretty dire. I mean, there could be reputational impact, data exposure, there could be system downtime, there could be financial impacts like lawsuits and fines, and the list kind of goes on from there. So we really got to make sure that we use as many security tools as we have in our tool belt to secure these types of solutions. And just to list off a few options here, it could be using a dedicated VPN for RMM traffic. It could be use of two-factor authentication so that even if an account is compromised, maybe the username and password, attackers still can't get access to it because they don't have that additional factor of authentication. Uh, it could be separating networks, network segmentation, and of course, network monitoring is another way that we could detect attacks before they become too uh, severe. Uh, keeping service provider accounts just locked down, you know, using the principle of least privilege is always going to be important too. We should always be making accounts and assigning permissions and privileges that are the bare minimum necessary for folks to do their jobs uh, because any additional permissions and privileges are just additional risk. So by using many different complementary security controls and tools and techniques, we can make it hopefully more difficult than it's worth for an attacker. So thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next video.